ends here and now I can really say that I have been with the beast to the end of the world really guys this is martin aka martin the vlogger that's of course is the beast brp cannon spider f3s and this is riding around slovakia part four we are on the east of slovakia and actually this is the furthest east point of slovakia right over there if i will throw a rock i will hit the ukrainian so ukrainian borders poland is right over there it's unbelievable like like if you want to understand like how far I am from civilization, uh, I was told at the, at the hotel to bring a cash with me because the closest ATM is 40 kilometers from here. And what we will be doing, we will be riding east of Slovakia. I will show you beautiful roads, I will show you beautiful wooden churches. We will go back to my childhood and I will show you one building that I didn't know that it really exists. And all of the roads and all of the info and more info about this region you can find in uh, martinthevlogger.com and the link to this episode is directly down there in the description. Guys, before we will start, uh, I would like to say one thing. Big thanks to all of my followers, to every one of you. Uh, I have to say this because without you, without your constant support, I will be not doing this. And one special announcement. Paul wanted me to mention him in one of my videos. So Paul, this episode is for you personally. So yeah, a lot of you guys are my friends. We talk a lot. So hopefully we'll keep growing our community. For those that are not my subscribers, hit the subscribe button and have the notifications on because every time I make a crazy video, you are notified. And now enough of this, let's ride. completely unplanned stop I just saw it and it seems like it's a thing here and I love these kind of opportunities because sometimes you find a treasure so let's have a look what it is all about so two lessons learned first one it's really a thing because it's a cold gazier and it's not a lot of them in a whole world so it's a really a unique thing the second lesson is more about me being dummy I was waiting there for about 20 minutes for the next eruption and guess what it operates every 34 to 36 hours and the next one or actually the previous one was one hour ago so yeah next time I should ask first so definitely I ain't gonna wait here so let's hit the road again so short journey around Košice uh, what to say um, absolutely amazing city some vloggers and some bloggers say that this is probably the most beautiful city in Slovakia and I have to agree a lot of old streets with beautiful buildings coffee shops and beer places you know uh, really beautiful that thing behind me that building it's called uh, Dom Svete Alžbeti or you know some Catherine's Cathedral the largest Cathedral in Slovakia dating back to 13th century but because first of all I cannot drone here um, simply because of the restrictions uh, and also I'm a petrol head so I'm about to hit the road uh, this is just short journey around Košice but definitely what I wanted to say with this short intro is that you have to come here you have to experience this beautiful city <music> Should be somewhere, should be somewhere over here. <laughs> it exists. 
It exists. <laughs> it really does. Unbelievable, it exists. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, well, okay, this is the story. I'm pretty sure even a lot of Slovaks don't know that it really exists. And the story is like, what you see behind me is not just an old cottage. That's a uh, Chalupka Detka Večernička. So a translation is something like a uh, cottage of the grandpa, say it in a very polite way, of the cartoon telling or something like that. Uh, yeah. This, like, it was a very tiny cartoon every day for decades before seven o'clock uh, that basically said to a kid, you know, like, okay, there's one last cartoon you can watch and then it's time for a bed. <laughs> and how cool is that to live next to it? Like, can you imagine, like, you're a kid living here and having Chalupka Detka Večerniška next to you? When you're a petrol head like me, you simply must stop and have a look. There are still plenty of them. It's called Praga. It was a manufacturer. Uh, they produce it around 1953 that, that they started. Of course, it was a military truck, but these days you can still see them like uh, working around forests, you know, with the, with the heavy things, you know, undestroyable trucks. I mean, <laughs> really undestroyable. Can you imagine like these cars, the new cars will least easy, like what, like 70 years? 70. Like there's only one machine that will survive that long. Amazing. <laughs> These wooden churches, they are part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site called Wooden Churches of Slovak Carpathians. Just for the record, the Carpathians are mountains uh, that are in the Central and Eastern Europe. And altogether, here in the East North of Slovakia, you can experience roughly around 50 of these amazing buildings that there are Greek and Rome Catholic and Protestant churches. And all you need to do, in case you would like to experience this amazing thing, it search for the wooden road of Slovak Carpathians. Ah, we are lucky because this one is open. So it's one of few that you can really uh, enter and see. So let's have a look. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. <laughs> Riding around Slovakia part four, it's over. What a beautiful couple of days I have had. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you have, or maybe you have learned something new. Hopefully you like it so much that one day you will come to my beautiful country. And don't forget, Slovakia is not only about High Tatras or Bratislava region, you know. Slovakia is about East as well. In case you liked the video, hit the like or hit the dislike if you like, it's up to you. In case you have any questions, write them into a comment. In case you are not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel and have the notifications on because definitely riding around Slovakia part five 
it's coming shortly. Now, this is me. This is why I travel, because I like to relax. This is the beast and this is what we do. So I'm gonna enjoy my views here. And you guys, you remember. Anywhere you're at, always have fun. <laughs>